Hey everyone, Cable the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with an answer to a question that I actually got from one of you guys in the comments section. I was like, oh, that's a really stupid good question. Why have I not thought of that? I'm going to make a video on that. So guys, that question is, what percent of eBayers, uh, eBay buyers, you know, what percent of them actually leave reviews? And I know a lot of us might have thought of that. I know a lot of us probably didn't think of that. I personally did not think of it. it it's something that I've thought about in my author career, but it's not something I've really thought about for eBay, because for me, with my eBay store, I just sort of assume, eh, most people, or at least a good amount of people, are going to leave a review, because what I do. So, with that said, though, guys, I just want to run through some of the numbers really quick on what, how many eBay buyers leave reviews. So, right off the bat, guys, on all the research that I did, I have a little sticky note right here uh, of my research notes, uh, I saw that the average amount of people that leave reviews on eBay is between about 20 and 30% of buyers are going to leave reviews. So, that is between 1 in 5 or 3 out of 10. So, Let's just make it easy for you guys. That's between 2 out of 10 and 3 out of 10 people. Uh, but with that said, that is just more the average. Uh, some people have seen as low as 5% of people or even less. Other people have seen 35% or more percent of buyers uh, leaving reviews. I actually saw a couple of people that were boasting that they had like 80% of people leaving reviews for their things. And I was sitting there like, 80%? What would you even do with that many reviews? That's insane. I'm a little bit jealous. But for uh, for me, guys, you know the things that I do in my store. Uh, I'm just going to run through that really quick. So the things that I do in my own eBay store, I take a lot of time on my listings. I do all these sorts of things on that send, uh, end of things. I also, when I think, uh, send my books out, I'm going to wrap my books. I do wrap my books. I put a little sticker on it, uh, on the wrapping, not on the actual book, because I'm doing antique books. No one wants a sticker on their antique book. Uh, but I do all these sorts of things to sort of go the extra mile. And when I do that, I do have a lot of buyers being like, wow, you went the extra mile. Here's an awesome review. I saw that you did this and this and this. It was really cool. I have a lot of people that actually not only leave uh, feedbacks, but they actually go out and write specific things, not just A++++ plus 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 seller. Good. Do business with again. Something like that. You know, the ones that you just see 5,500... 55 million probably times on eBay. It's insane how many times it's just the same copy paste sort of thing. It's fun when you guys get the people that leave a little extra and when people are checking out your feedback they see the people that leave the little bit extra and they're like wow that's actually sort of cool that you did something cool. Uh, but with that said though guys for me in my business with all the extras that I do my feedback rate is about 35 percent between 35 and 40 percent of the time I actually get feedbacks from my buyers which I think is interesting because I, I, I get a lot of repeat buyers, and I've mentioned before, guys, I don't get a ton of repeat buyers, but I've gotten quite a few repeat buyers that never leave feedback, but they buy from me several times, and they message me, and they're like, you're amazing, da da da, -da. I'm going to buy from you again and again and again, but they don't go and leave feedback, and it's like, hmm, that's weird, I guess I don't, I don't need feedback too bad, I mean, I'd love it, but I don't have any negative feedback to offset, so I'm not devastated but it's a little weird that you take the time to message me and not do that so there are obviously a lot of things that I could uh, sorry that I could personally do in my business to increase how much feedback I get and I actually am going to have another video right there that you guys can actually click I'll be dropping this video uh, shortly uh, in that video guys is how you're going to be able to get more feedback uh, on your eBay store have a higher rate of feedback on your store but this video right now is just about what percent of people leave feedback for their eBay stores uh, eBay buyers leave for the stores they buy from sorry um, and again guys the average is between 20 and 30 percent which is quite interesting it's interesting because that's not even a third of people leaving feedback and if you think about some of the some of us we've been in this business long enough it's like if I buy anything I'm gonna leave a feedback because I know it can mean the difference between death and life for all these different sellers and buyers and all these things it's like how dare you not do it but let's face it guys there's a lot of people that don't think about these things for me I've mentioned before I do the book writing in fact I think I mentioned in this video I'm an author so many people do not leave feedback or reviews or any of that stuff for authors and as authors, it's like, listen, pal, if I have anything less than, like, ten reviews, no one's going to even think I'm a real author. If I have anything less than a thousand, they're going to think that my book's not worth reading. And you know how many people it takes to get to a thousand? There are people, guys, who are also authors. They say that it takes between one, uh, sorry, you get, like, one in 500 people to leave a review or one in a thousand people to leave a review when you are writing your books. Of course, there are things that you can do to increase the rates on that side of things if you're an author, but you can sort of take that same mentality and 
apply it to books. And again, guys, I have another video coming out where I'm actually going to address those specific things, but there's a lot of things that you can do to increase your odds. One such thing, here's a little uh, spoiler on the video that's coming. Uh, one of the things that you guys can do to increase the odds of someone leaving feedback for your store is ask them. It's nice and simple. You can leave a little card inside of your uh, thing that you ship out, inside your, um, like on top of your book or whatever you're shipping out. You could be like, hey, please be sure to leave feedback. I'm a new store. I'm trying to make sure that I'm feeding all my 7,500 guinea pigs. And if I don't get feedback, all the guinea pigs are going to die. So don't let my guinea pigs die. Something like that. You can guilt trip them or just say, I need feedback. I don't know. Or you can even reach out to them on the messaging for eBay. You could be like, hey, I saw that my shipment to you arrived today. I hope you really loved it. Please be sure to leave feedback if you did. And if you aren't happy, please be sure to reach out. I, I want to make sure that you're happy, that sort of thing. Uh, do not pester people. Pestering people, they generally will give you a brutally honest review, potentially. Uh, they might be like, this guy's annoying and he's absolute trash and I don't want to do business, business with him again. Negative feedback. And you'll be like, I just ruined my life poop. Uh, but other times, guys, there are going to be people who just need that little extra push to be like, oh, wow, I didn't realize this actually was important. Here's feedback for you. And man, I, I think I might leave feedback for more people now if this is that important, that sort of thing. So with that said and done, though, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Hope it got you guys' uh, brain juices flowing a little bit. If so, be sure to drop a like. And uh, in addition to that, if you guys want to see my list of the things that you guys can do to increase the odds of someone leaving feedback for you on eBay, be sure to check it out right there. It's the top one. And I'll see you in the next one.